So there was, a, and also film, uh, so, you know, uh, so I, I could do animation with my little camera. So, I, so there was everything in that store that I needed to kind of, you know, create this uh, uh, imaginary world for me and kind of grow from there. And uh, since you're students, uh, I will tell you, like, for me, there's, I cannot say enough how much my parents were helpful in, you know, me becoming a professional uh, artist and writer, storyteller, all that stuff, uh, in the sense that even when I was little, they never looked at it as a hobby or an outlet, like this is one of the words that I hate the most in life, is, oh, it's an outlet. No, it's not a fucking outlet. <laughs> 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 it's my life's work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but you know, like, even when I was little, my parents would, you know, if I said, I need this or that, they would get it from me eventually, and then they would always say, now you're all set up to do your work, you know? So. Hopefully, when you're little, you know your parents see you as pre-professionals, not hobbyists, and just always have a commitment to your art and your work because that's that's kind of who you are and what you do. So for me, uh, the time I never thought that I would do anything else than you know telling stories. But uh, the turning point was when I was 13 and the movie Heavy Metal came out. I don't know if you guys seen it. <laughs> I was just like, okay, this is this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. So animation, yeah. comics, boom, done. <laughs> and, so, um, and so I did like uh, did this short film. If you guys know the, uh, the Spirits by Will Eisner, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So that was my favorite comic book. So I did when I was 13 this five minute all painted on cells and stuff, or, you know, it's, uh, and shot on Super 8 and stuff. And it's on, I'm not gonna force it on you right now, but if you're <laughs> curious, it's on YouTube, you can look at it. My name, The Spirit, or whatever. And it's, uh, it's fun. Uh, anyway, so. Um, and so throughout my, uh, you know, all the way through college, uh, I was spending my time between animation and comics. And then, uh, w you know, wh when I started uh, college, the animation industry was nothing. It was tiny. It was really on the, the lowest uh, point in the, you know, in the, in the cycle. But then just when I was starting school, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit came out. And by the time, and so that's my timing was really lucky because by the, by the time I came out, the industry had been completely transformed and it was the thing, you know. And so, uh, so long story short, you know, to follow the, uh, uh, going on, uh, I don't know how many years, uh, in animation, you know, some of the, the favorite projects that I worked on were, of course, Darren Giant, which was, uh, 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 was a wonderful experience, we could, you know, if we guys, by the way, if you guys have any <coughs> questions uh, uh, later on, we, of course, we'll go to that, but that we could talk about that for a while if you wanted to.